When Kurt and Linda hired someone to pull up old carpet and refinish the hardwood floors in the house, they discovered dark stains and a sobering surprise. We asked him about these stains, and he said, well, those stains will not come up. He said, those are, that's blood. I and mean, obviously he had experienced this before, and that certainly gave us, you know, kind of the, the, the eebie-jeebies. The blood stains were all over the floor in an upstairs hallway. It wasn't just a little blood, it was a lot of blood. I wouldn't say it's the most pleasant thought in the world. I mean, you have to kind of separate from where, you know, we are today versus the time. I mean, it's fascinating in some ways, and it's, it's absolutely, obviously it's a little creepy in some ways as well. Kurt and Linda knew there had never been a major crime committed in their house, which was both comforting and perplexing. The pair just had to find out who once lived there. We've learned that Joel and Margaret Hullum built the house in 1834. It was a land grant from Andrew Jackson. That explained who the tools under the house belonged to, but not where the blood had come from. Further sleuthing turned up an answer. During the Civil War, there was a bloody battle nearby, and it had been rumored for years that their home had been used as a makeshift hospital. A rumor the blood seemed to confirm. The blood stains upstairs gave credence to the idea that it was a hospital for Union soldiers, which is one reason why they didn't burn the home house. Linda was fascinated to discover she was living in a piece of Civil War history. But she soon discovered the home is possibly tied to her own family history. My great-great-uncle was in the Battle of Port Gibson, the Siege of Vicksburg, and Champion Hill, and he was wounded here. And I've always wondered, if these walls could talk, I wonder if he was here. That's his blood upstairs. Linda and Kurt have loved living in their home and their history lesson. But they're hoping there are still a few more surprises to come. It's always exciting when you find something, especially when you weren't looking for it. Just to think back how many years it was and who used it and who wore it or anything. I guess one of the other things is, is you wonder what's next. What are you going to find next? <laughs>